Hello, my name is Dr. H. Wesley Clark. I'm the director of the Center for Substance Abuse Treatment of the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. And this video is a collaboration between the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration and the National Institute of Drug Abuse. We are um, trying to promote the importance of substance abuse treatment programs for uh, engaging in a, an important public health strategy, and that is promoting HIV testing while people are in the substance abuse program. Recent data show that less than half of substance abuse treatment programs actually perform HIV tests in their substance abuse treatment program. Some may be concerned about costs. You can acquire rapid tests from either your health department or get the costs covered through your relationship with your single state authorities or other strategies. Our appeal to you as a part of our working relationship with the National Institute of Drug Abuse and our blending initiative is to help foster appropriate tests so that we make it clear that we're not just concerned about getting someone clean and sober in the short run. We're interested in promoting recovery and knowing your HIV status is essential to promoting recovery. You need to have access to things that give you immediate information in the quickest, shortest, least expensive way. Rapid testing is one of those ways. Because you can sit there and deal with information very quickly, very cheaply, very valuably. Why not do it? It's not about the drugs. Getting people off of drugs, if that was our only goal, would be relatively easy. We're talking about how people live the rest of their lives drug-free and living life with knowledge of what you have, whether you have diabetes, whether you have you know, uh, hypertension, or you have HIV. You have to know, and therefore you can plan, and therefore you can deal, and therefore you can live. I um, am the lead investigator of the HIV rapid testing and counseling study that was conducted in the clinical trials network of the National Institute on Drug Abuse. And what we found were those people who were offered testing on site, the majority of them, about 80% overall, accepted a test and learned their results you know, within uh, 45 minutes. And this was the first study that was done in an experimental way, in, in a randomized controlled trial, where we were able to, um, to, to look at testing versus referral. Through the course of actually conducting the study, we learned that the patients in the treatment program were so happy to have an opportunity to be tested in a place where they felt safe, um, there were no bureaucratic hurdles to overcome, and so the staff learned that the patients really thought this was a great opportunity and a real asset for them that was offered by the treatment program. I think it really, in some ways, facilitated the, the patient's connection to the substance abuse treatment. Now I know my status, and it's not such a thing and weighing on the back of my mind anymore. The great unknown, what if? So it's much better on my mind now. A lot of these people would not get tested in the lifestyles that they live they're at high risk, so then, you know, they're scared of, because they know that they're at high risk, that they might come up positive and, you know, what would they do if they did? But here it's more comfortable, you can deal with it if it does come back bad news.